Well, I would say the most difficult uh, moment in the camp was the trip from Auschwitz to Dora. First, we were on the death march to Gleiwitz, and from Gleiwitz we were loaded on open railroad uh, coal cars. And first it was uh, too crowded, really, you had standing room only. We were maybe a, a, a hundred guys in there and you couldn't sit down or anything. But uh, pretty soon few died and then you, you, you sat on them, but you didn't get any food. All, all you ate was snow. It's the snow that kept me alive because that was the only liquid you had. Had those cars been closed and we would have been locked up for that length of time without water or anything, we, nobody would have made a, a, the trip. Uh, but about 80% I think died on the trip. Uh, I don't know how many we were, uh, how many cars there were all together, but uh, we went through Czechoslovakia and Austria and uh, so it, it was somewhere close to two week trip without any f uh, food uh, uh, that was uh, um, given to us. Uh, I, I was lucky I found some food and, and some people ate some dead people. I mean, uh, uh, I know uh, um, considering they didn't have many muscles, some people ate the liver. And you saw that? You oh yeah, oh, cut them open, and, uh, what the hell, they were dead anyhow. I couldn't blame them for trying. It wasn't very appetizing, but uh, I might have kept a few guys around still. <laughs> I had the, the feeling there that uh, uh, I, I wasn't going to make it through the whole trip. I didn't know how long it was going to last. When we first started, I was glad I didn't have to walk again because after all, we walked uh, about 70 kilometers uh, in a blizzard uh, that uh, night when we went walked to Gleiwitz. But uh, after a while, uh, that came a ride from hell. And uh, when you think, uh, naturally, a lot of people had one blanket with them, and the more died, the more blankets you could put over yourself. So, uh, and you sat down on, you know, between the rib cage and the pelvis. When you line up a stack of few dead bodies, it makes like a contour chair, you know. It became comfortable, except that you didn't eat or ate snow, that was it. You mentioned uh, a death march. Yeah, uh, the death march came before the ride uh, to, uh, that was uh, when they evacuated uh, uh, all the camps in that area. It, we had 11,000 people in Monowitz, but uh, uh, there were several hundred thousand all together in that area, and they came all into that main highway that was going from Auschwitz to Gleiwitz, and it went over uh, not a very high mountain, but over a good uh, pass uh, we had to uh, walk. And uh, considering it, it was uh, snowing quite a bit, and we had quite a few people ahead of us of walking. And uh, after a while, uh, there was a steady line of dead bodies laying on the side of the highway there, uh, covered with snow, most of it by, by it, it snowed quite a bit, so uh, it wasn't easy either. They wind up blisters and wooden shoes, but uh, we got to Gleiwitz, I would say we had lost maybe 10% of, uh, there might have been 10,000 dead laying there out of 100,000, but uh, then on the train ride we lost a much bigger percentage. 